Good morning from flowery Tokyo. This is already a cherry blossom. <laughs> although, although this is not what we are searching for today. <laughs> not the cherries, but thank you guys for being here. This is what we were searching for. Ja, ja. These are kimono fabrics that are now displayed on this river because long ago people used to uh, dye and wash and uh, prepare the kimono fabrics in this area and now they are having a special festival for us to see them and yes I'm on a bridge up high because I think it looks cool but it's a bit tough to film through these holes but even with this uh, grid in front of us, it looks interesting. So yes, this is where we are. The Nakai station is nearby, I think is that one there. So just around the corner. And yes, for today I am wearing kimono too. This is kimono fabric. It's actually a very special type, you know, it's handmade, this 3D shape is hand, hand made. <laughs> Yay! So, I'm glad we chose this top of the bridge position to start and then we are going to go on that other bridge and walk on the streets to try to get some artistic shots and today is really great weather, that's why I came today. So, let me try to zoom again through these holes. And while the point of view is really nice and we can even get this stick here go up like this <laughs> one thing on the bridge is that these big cars are vibrating it so the entire bridge is vibrating and so the shot will not be so steady but yeah we can go like this <laughs> And now that we arrive down, you can see that they are actually so pretty and you can get such nice photos with if you catch the reflection here, you know the geometry of the reflection in the river. And so this angle is really stunning. And yeah, there is some sun on it. And yeah, there are on both sides of the river. There and here. So we can take a lot of photos. You know what this is very similar to in my opinion it's the Koinobori, the festival where they have those huge carp fishes also kind of like this over the river and colorful so it reminds of that. See the ladies also wearing a kimono. Oh, I'm also we, wearing kimono. Uh, a ah, so <laughs> made from a kimono. Yeah, made yeah. from kimono. there are restaurants like this and actually this neighborhood is really cute see there is this shop here selling second-hand goods there is this very nice restaurant that sells foods and then here you can get mikan oranges and more flea market over there this is another great angle we can catch the kimonos on this side 
and then we can catch the street and the locals on the other half of the frame it's a beautiful event and as you can see each kimono stripe is different Many of them seem to have been made maybe for this event or painted for this event especially because see there is text on them. Here again it's pretty to catch this reflection in the river. So let's go a distance like this. Now you can see them reflected. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this, everybody is lining up here. I don't know if you know this but whenever the wind blows and whenever the kimonos are moving that's when the photographers are all shooting it's like uh, in Hokkaido when the red crested cranes are landing that's the basically the only moment when the photographers are photographing so your goal is to get this swinging like this in the air and that would make for a good photo during this festival Girls, if possible, will always adjust and wear stuff to match the situation, like she's wearing a kimono cool socks and shoes wow and here we have school kids and as you can see they are not wearing masks <laughs> So more than half of the kids were not wearing masks. As you can see, the panic is not so much in bloom. The virus panic. And many shops are displaying such kimono clothes at the entrance. See, like this shop is selling all kind of um, handmade bags. And they have this at the entrance. So nice. 
realize that there are many cafes here and restaurants on the riverside where you can enjoy. And then the longer you stay, the more photo ops are. Like see, you get this lineup of school kids with uh, kimono stripes. here just in front of the station see we didn't see it because we came from above but there is like a huge organization about this festival and many volunteers who will explain you where to go and what to do and here is info on the photo contest so you your you know your photos to for a competition really look at this very professional beautiful pamphlet so it really is a festival that's going on for more than 10 years and now that we got a proper map of the place there are actually many shops displaying you know such kimono clothes in front of their store you can have tea ceremony somewhere here and then there is a samurai house like some samurai stuff that you can watch over here and then here are all the shops that are participating in this and displaying kimono print have free Wi-Fi so we actually could stream this live on YouTube if we would want to.